Hi, welcome to Erica's Welsh Garden. Today it's Tuesday the 13th of November and I am going to be showing you a potentially costly and serious issue that I've got going on in my garden at the moment. So earlier in the year I put a raised bed either side of my retaining wall um, that leads down to my patio and I don't know if you can see here but about two months ago I saw a small crack um, kind of out here and then a month later the crack was here and then now the crack is all the way down here now this is a retaining wall um, that basically is stopping this part of the garden from being in this part of the garden down here so um, I've got a bit of an issue that I need to get sorted as soon as possible okay so here is the close-up of the crack it's pretty big to be honest and I need to do something to you know rectify this as soon as possible otherwise with all the rain that we're getting the wall is not going to last very long now you're probably thinking already that we need to have some holes drilled in the front of the wall to relieve any kind of water that there could be and i can tell you that we already have um a hole here that obviously the builders must have put in and you can see that it does work there's kind of water coming out of it now also, we did put another hole in here when we first saw um, the crack and that hasn't actually, you know, done anything whatsoever. But you can also see that there must be an issue with, um, you know, water trying to get out of this wall because of all of the deposits and the stalactites on the wall. So the first thing that I need to do is move this raised bed here because obviously I had that full of pumpkins in the summer and I was um, flooding that with water every single day so um, I need to just get this moved I can already see um, when I look at the raised bed that can I don't know if you can see here but it's on a little bit of an angle so obviously where this corner has um, caused the crack it has pushed down a little bit so um, this is what I need to get moved and yeah you can definitely see on the right hand side that it has dipped down a bit Okay, so my plan of action for today is to move this raised bed up to my pumpkin patch and then um, I will try and start digging behind that crack and just seeing what it looks like. I'm thinking that hopefully we can just brace that crack and then kind of fill that render where there's the big crack and then hopefully that should, you know, hold up for, you know, ever basically because I have no budget to fix a wall that's going to fall down. But I've got a couple of builder friends that can probably come around and give me some advice as well. Now, I did put my thermodrome garlic in this raised bed. So what I need to do is kind of get those digged out and then I can, yeah, get things moving. Now, it does look like it's going to rain and it keeps kind of having massive showers and then kind of the sun comes out again and the showers so hopefully i can get this moved in the next couple of hours so that's all the thermodrome garlic and a couple of onions pulled up i also had some kale that as you can see was completely annihilated um, by bugs earlier in the year but i'm going to plant that again because i'm hoping that over the winter um those caterpillars aren't going to be around um so yeah, I'm just going to put this to one side and start digging out. I don't know if you've noticed actually, there's some blue tarp just there. Um, Lloyd is building a shed on where the old pig pen was. Um, I've, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that um, I've got kind of my never-ending water butt is just up there, a sunken bath. So um, it'd be great once I've got a shed up there, well, when Lloyd's got a shed up there, that I would put all of my stuff in. So it'd be great because when you're working up in the woodland up there, trying to get all of your stuff you know, from down in the house all the way up there, it just takes absolutely ages. But anyway, let's get on with this. So this is where the raised bed is going to be this year. I do imagine though that um, there's going to be lots of slugs and snails kind of growing in this area that will just crawl up onto the raised bed. But I see this is quite a good place for kind of the next season for it to go um, because it's probably going to be quite unlikely that I'm going to get all of this area. <laughs> it's so overgrown. Um, but yeah, all of this area sorted by next year. So it'd be great to go here and I can water it to my heart's content and I'm not going to worry that any wall's going to fall down.
So my plan of action for emptying this raised bed is to kind of um, just go around the edges um, and then hopefully I can lift it off. Now I do have a wheelbarrow but I've obviously need to take it up the next level so I can't use a wheelbarrow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up loads of the 10 litre flower buckets. I've got a 30 litre bucket here and then I've got a load of um, old dog food bags. So I'm going to get these filled up as quickly as I can and then try and get the... Um, the you know metal frame mood now i can't remember how heavy it is though so i'm hoping it's not too heavy because let's face it i'm, I'm not really that strong so um yeah anyway let's get going <laughs> the first bucket i've actually filled up <laughs> i filled up to the top which is the one thing i said i wasn't going to do because it's so he heavy otherwise oh. It's just started raining now, so I'm going to carry on, but the camera's going to go away, unfortunately. The rain has eased a little bit, but it's still quite rainy. Um, I've removed enough earth now that I think I can move this, so hopefully it's not too heavy. Don't you just love it when the plan comes together? I can't believe how quickly that was, how easy it was. What I'm going to do now is just fill it all up. With the raised bed, when I put it in down at the front, I did put quite a lot of logs and wood at the bottom just to kind of bring the level up a bit because I didn't have loads of compost. So I imagine it's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of get that because the spade doesn't go into it. But yeah, we're going to fill it all back up now and then we can start digging the hole and see what is behind that crack. So didn't I say it's amazing when things go to plan. I've nearly filled up that raised bed now and I'm about to be able to dig behind the wall. Um, Lloyd just came out to let me know he was going on a dog walk so we had a quick look at the wall and um, we were just yeah, having a little chat and um, I found something on the other wall. Um, I'm going to have to show you but it's really not good. But this is the crack that I was worried about and we've obviously just moved that raised bed and then if you come over to this wall here there is also a massive crack but this is in the front of the wall um, and it's pretty bad now I hadn't really noticed this before I'm gonna have to look back at my um, pumpkin harvest video to see if this crack was here for ages but my plan was to kind of finish up here dig a hole behind that one and then head up to the allotment but this crack is pretty bad so I'm gonna have to move this one no idea where I'm gonna be moving this raised bed to um, so I'm just going to have to kind of empty it and put it up in storage up on oh no, my pumpkin patch somewhere, um, but I'm not going to be filling it back up. So um, yeah, when things go to plan, there's something usually lurking, hiding, waiting for you to find. So uh, not good. Okay, so I'll update you on what I've been up to. It's been about half an hour since I saw you last. I've moved um, the raised bed from here just to here and all of the soil that was in there I've moved into the raised bed here so by the way I'm really sorry it sounds like there's road works going on up there um, there's loads of people in my area that are regenerating at the moment so you know you can't complain because things will get better but it's a little bit noisy so I'm very sorry um, I put my thermodrome garlic in here they are very close together but they were across two raised beds and now they're in one and at the back I've got the kale that's been absolutely munched um, there's three garlics in here and there's another two garlics in there that was where I had my um, yakons growing um, but I'll just leave them in there for now so I think it is about to tip down so what my plan of action now for the next kind of half an hour is just to tidy everything up um, and then once I've done that I'll come back and just kind of sign off I guess
Okay, so I've spent another half an hour kind of tidying things up now, so I'm pretty happy with the way I'm leaving it. I've got about an hour before I need to go and pick Stan up from school, so I think I'm going to still potter around out here, but I'm not going to do any more filming because I'm quite conscious that this is probably quite a long video. Um, what I'll be doing now, though, is kind of getting in contact with some builders, and I will give you an update on the wall. I'm hoping it's not going to cost a lot of money, and you know possibly we can actually sort the issue out ourselves but i do need to talk to some um professionals really because i don't really know you know how serious it is but anyway i'm going to leave it here now so if you're still watching i hope you've enjoyed and if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified of all of my latest videos thanks very much for watching bye